did you hear how much they're paying that sentence? Mm. I cannot believe they think he's worth all that money. Mm. No wonder the game's going downhill. Yeah, I know. But you know, those players got just as much right to earn a good living as they can off that talent as the owners got a right to make a profit. Besides, the owner's not going to be around to help them when they get too old to play. Well, I just want to get some use out of my season ticket. Oh, yeah, please. <laughs> You're such a sensitive guy. You really break my heart. <laughs> they were just about wrapped up here. Oh, you look at that. Mm, that war is still going on over there. That's just terrible. You know, I've been in battle, and I know how terrible it is for innocent people caught up in the middle. God bless them. Oh, I don't believe in God. You don't? Mm -mm. I didn't know that. Nope. Why not? Why not? Well, the question is, why should I? What do you mean? I mean, look how messed up the world is. In half the marriages, they end up in divorce. Kids growing up barely knowing their fathers, if they know them at all. You know, I sit here and stand here all day, every day, and I watch this neighborhood go from bad to awful. What kind of God's supposed to be running things? I don't know. You know, kids, kids who I gave that first haircut are now in prison. Some aren't even guilty. What kind of God would allow that? You got old people sitting at home with no one to visit them, no one to care. Men trying to find jobs who can't. I mean, if it was just a lack of food and good drinking water for so many people in this world, it'd be one thing. But this world is full of fear and hopelessness. Yeah, I tell you, I was doing my job the way God was supposed to be doing his. I'd been sued out of business by now. Yeah, if there was a God, and he was a righteous God, I think he'd punish the guilty and set the innocent free. I think he'd make people change the way they live. Anyway, you're all done. There you go. Sorry about that. That's OK. Mm. Hey, thanks. Yeah. Uh-oh. Show it on your tip. Well, what of it? <laughs> your hair's not going to quit growing. I'll get it out of you the next time. All right. <laughs> you take care, now. See you, Tommy. Ah. <laughs> You know, I just thought of something. Mm -hmm. I don't believe in barbers anymore. What, are you gonna start cutting your own hair from now on? <laughs> what are you talking about? You don't like your hair cut? Come sit down, we can fix it. No, it's not that. I don't believe barbers exist. What are you talking about? Well, did you see that guy? His hair was a mess, his beard was untrimmed. How could a barber allow that? There's only one answer. There are no barbers. Yeah, right. Look. That's not the same thing. That's got nothing to do with whether barbers exist or not. I'm here every day letting people know I'm here to solve that stuff. I got the tools, I got the skills to take care of all of that. No. If there were barbers, good barbers, they wouldn't let something like that happen. Well, I can't help him if he doesn't come to me. What? 